What's up, guys? Spencer Lazar here with MMA Interviews. We are live with the creator, the man, the coach behind the scenes at Wimp to Warrior, an Australian-based MMA reality show where they take average Joes, turn them from wimps to warriors. You're getting set. You're, you're filming the, the upcoming season. Talk to us about a lot of the stuff that's going on. I know it's an exciting time for you. Hey, Spence. Yeah, it's good. We're, um, we're currently filming the second series in Australia. First week, just out of the way, so um, I've got 42 men and women that have um, signed up and they've just finished their first week of training, so it's a bit of sore bodies. We've got um, a holiday weekend, so it's a long weekend, so they've got an extra day off this week. Um, it's great. There's, um, we've got 12 females, the rest guys. Um, real mix of ages and sizes as first series, but average age for the women is 31 and the guy is 30, which I think is amazing. So just goes to show the demographic of MMA followers is changing, you know. Um, and, you know, and they're all people that are fresh to the sport, which is, I think, it's amazing. I'm so excited. Talk about the beginning of it. Is the beginning the hardest part with these guys? I mean, do you have to weed out some of the some of the people who maybe just can't handle it, or is it just harder in general to get them, you know, into just regular old shape? Yeah, I think um, the first week is is I think it's tougher mentally for them because they don't know what to expect. So they're um, they're very pensive, and and there's a lot of um, I don't know adrenaline dumps I guess from training but I think the second week which we go back next week is when we really up the tempo. First week we kind of bed them in, still tough training you know they're getting a good workout but next week we're uh, we're going to put them for their paces for sure which is exciting and I, I'm guessing we'll have a couple of drop out but I think this, this team um, compared to the first series they know what it's all about now. The first series no one knew what it was about. They were People sign up all over the place, and after a weekend, there was loads of dropouts. But this series, they've all watched the, the previous series. They, someone came to the finale, but they got friends that are on it, and uh, they're a little bit more educated. So I'm hoping the dropouts will be less this series. And just give us a, a, a quick overview again, just reiterate the premise of the show. A lot of these people continue their day jobs as well as continuing this program, right? All of them. All of them. The whole point of the series is... You know, we're not training pro fires that do this for a living. These are guys that either study all day or they work full time, they've got families, and they're trying to fit this into their everyday lives. And we're training. Most of the guys are up at 4 a.m., you know. Come in, we meet We meet the gym just after half five, and we train, they go to work. Um, yeah, and it's about changing people's lives, introducing new people to the sport of MMA. You know, there's such a massive audience out there that that can't relate to the sport right now I think. They see all these amazing athletes on TV and they watch the sport but they'd never go and try and participate. They won't walk into a fight here. Where this winter warrior is going to show that anyone can do it and I think it's going to be great for the sport. Talk about when they start to actually start sparring. Uh, you know after the first three weeks maybe in do you start get, throwing them in there and seeing what they got? No, the, the sparring aspect, we tend to wait close to the second phase. So the first 10 weeks phase is, is all about strength and conditioning, getting their bodies ready, giving them the basics. We could show them some basic wrestling, some takedowns, um, lots of pad work, foot movement. Get, I, I'm very strong in building a foundation of their, their training first, and then we start adding. If you start putting them in sparring too early, it just all goes to pieces. So... Um, we tend to leave the impact stuff, the striking and stuff, um, until the second part of the series, and that's when we make the announcements for the matchups. Then they go into two separate camps, and then that's when it starts properly. Yeah. Nice. And yeah. talk about the growth of MMA in Australia and how it's sort of fueled your idea and and your show. Yeah, it's it's probably the opposite. It's it's the lack of growth that made me really try and do this. I mean, there's it's definitely growing, and the UFC has been a massive help with that. You know, since 2010, um, there's been a steady growth. But the the gyms, you know, they're not filling up. You know, it's it's the same thing. There's a lot of people watching the sport, but not so many participating. So um, that's the main reason I try to do it. But the sport definitely is growing. You know, as a as a spectator sport. But um, there's still a lot of negative press in in Australia. 
Um, there's a couple of idiot journalists that are on the main tabloids over here that they're never going to like it, and they love expressing, you know, their feelings. And the, the last Bigfoot Mark Hunt fight, you know, I was, I was in the press pit because I write for Men's Fitness, and I was just looking at these guys in front of me from different papers, and they're shaking their heads, and I'm thinking, this is going to go bad. You know, and there, there were some terrible articles that come out, but they just, they're uneducated, you know, they just, they have no clue about the sport. So I'm going to invite these guys along to train and see these guys training and hopefully change a few minds, you know. Give them a couple leg kicks maybe and let them uh, yeah, maybe. feel yeah. that. Yeah, I mean, it's got to be frustrating for you, a guy who's been involved so long, to have, yeah. you know, those kind of journalists writing such ignorant pieces. They are, and and the thing is, it's it's what people read stuff in the paper and they believe it, you know. Unless they've experienced it or got friends in the sport and they're a little bit more educated, it's, it's stuff that it sticks. You throw mud, it sticks. So um, it kind of takes us back a few steps each time this happens, you know. And we're still trying to get the UFC in a couple of states in Australia because you can only do MMA in a ring in two states, and you know, and these kind of things, it, you know, it, it doesn't help what we're trying to do here. But hopefully, you know, we get Wimps and Warrior on, on mainstream TV, free to air. It's going to change a lot of people's minds. So you talk about that. Talk about uh, getting on TV. Yeah, so we've got um, we've got a lot of interest. We had um, an offer already from a network, but we're just holding out. There's a couple of networks we really want to get on um, that are free to air rather than um, on cable. Because a lot of people that watch MMA you know, on cable, we're already into MMA. So we're trying to get that crossover. And if I can get on free to air, then that'd be great. And I'm, I'm confident we will. It's a fully funded series. We're going to people with a fully funded series. You know, it's, it's a no-brainer. So hopefully we'll be able to pick and choose. That's the idea. But the other thing is this as well is we kind of force our hand in the timeline. You know, you go to a network before and oh, we'll put you on at the end of the year. We've got a finale. There's going to be a 1,000 people there, live event. Come June, it's got to be televised before then. You can't make it one sign a disclaimer. You're not allowed to talk about this for six months. So, you know, the show will have to be aired end of May time to lead up into the finale, and then it'll be the same in the states as well. Are you going to have? I know they have right now. They have the uh, nations going on. Yeah. Um, does that help fuel? Uh, you know, kind of what's going on, or, or how is the feeling over there? Yeah, again, you know, Nations is on Fox over here, cable, and it's you're kind of preaching to the converted already. It's good, you know, but people that are into MMA are going to watch it. People that aren't into it, you know, they're not going to watch the other fight. So um, it, it's a help to the to the clubs that got guys representing for sure. You know, it's good for the sport. It's good to see Australian guys out there doing well, but. Um, it's not going to get the crossover, you know. It's just it's not going to happen. So that's like I said, my plan to win to going to do that. Yep. Well, cool, man. I mean, anything else that you want to touch on here? I know you're working on some stuff to bring it over to Canada, US, yeah. I think. And you want to talk about that? Yeah, for sure. Look, that's happening now. Last time we chatted, that was. I've got I've got a business plan, and I've got guys involved with this. And our business plan was to get series two finished in Australia and then start promoting it and, and see what we can do in the States. But in the last two or three weeks, there's been this massive snowball effect. I got approached by some guys in Canada that were keen to get involved, and we were talking online, and, and then we talked about maybe doing the Canada versus USA, and it's just gone able from there. So we got some, some really good coaches involved in the Canadian team. Um, um, Chris Clements, um, Chris Odecki, um, Chandler Price is actually in tough at the moment. All these guys have approached me and said they want to be part of the coaching team. The strength coach out there, um, is, he trains these guys at Alliance. Uh, a guy called, um, I'm going to get his surname wrong now, but um, Ben Demoroski. So he's a strength coach and he's been kind of fueling it. He's a big fan of the sport, big fan of what I'm trying to do, and he's got this team together. So um, I put it out there to um, a couple of people I know in the States and one of them being Jens Pulver, just to see if he could recommend people. I didn't think for a second he'd jump at it, and 
he just jumped at it straight away. He's he's asked me if he can be head coach. He wants to set up. He's got a new gym um, in Nebraska, and it's it's happening. So I'm flying man. out. So that's, again, that's amazing, man. To have a, a pioneer like Jens behind it, you know, over here. I, I think know, and he's help. perfect as well. You know, he's the perfect diplomat for the sport for for what I'm trying to do. So many people join with Draw because they've got backstories, they've had hardships somewhere along the line, they've had bad upbringings and they're lacking confidence and and Jen's, you know, look at his story. So he's gonna really be a great coach, I think. Um, even Nate Quarry's been in touch with me via Twitter, he wants to get involved. Um, there's gonna be loads of people that want to get involved with this, I think. Mean, give back to the sport, which is what Jen's wants to do. He wants to help people and give back to the sport. Grassroots stuff. So the plan is with that, um, I'm going to fly Jens over here for a week. Um, he's going to be a guest coach on this series in Australia. I get to know him. We talk about the series, and then applications for the for the USA versus Canada go live today, like half an hour ago on our website. So we're going to take applications, and then we have a two week break here in Australia, filming for Easter. So I'm going to fly out with my strength coach Rachel Guy, and we're going to be at the tryouts. We're going to have tryouts in the states and in Canada. Um, and then hopefully we start filming the series come June, finale December. Boom! That's amazing, man. How do you uh -huh. how do you get it out to people who who I mean I guess usually they're gonna like the sport, but make sure that they haven't trained before or you know have a yeah. background in martial arts. Yeah, look, there's um they 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 fill in a form first of all, and it asks about their experience, um, and they sign it off part of the application form. And then it's a case of we assess at the tryouts. Normally you can see if they know something. I've got no problem with people that have done a bit of training. That's fine. Very different from doing what they, these guys are expected to do. And then it's a case of YouTubing people, Googling people, making sure you know they're not world-class wrestler that hasn't trained in 10 years, wants to come back, all this kind of stuff. And also the fact that you've got two teams now, it's got to be even playing fields. So um, there'll be a little bit of work involved, but it's going to be good. It's going to be great fun. Jens is so fun. I've That's been striking nice. with Jens pretty much most nights. How will we be able to watch here in the States and, let's say, in Canada, the season two that's coming up? How will we be able to view it? Still online? I'm hoping to have like a catch-up TV kind of scenario on our website, um, which will only be viewed by international. So... It won't take any away from the, the network that shows it here. But it, you'll definitely be able to watch it for sure. Definitely. All right. Excited for it. And when uh, when can we expect uh, airing to begin? Um, for the Australian series, I would say mid-May for the finale in June. Beautiful. And then um, we'll be out in the States. So anyone out there that's listening knows anyone that wants to change their life, Get on the website, winterwarrior.com, application forms are there. Get on. We've got some amazing coaches. It's going to be life-changing. Exciting, man. That's awesome. Great to speak with you again, and so excited for the growth of this awesome uh, show that you've put together. Appreciate the time. Richie Cranny, be sure to follow them, Wimp to Warrior, uh, on Twitter, as well as Richie himself, at Richie Cranny, and uh, we look forward to speaking with you soon for more. That's it, and all the stuff's on our Facebook page as well, winterwarrior.com. And then we've got a link to that. We've got a new page for the um, Winter Warrior Canada versus USA as well. All right. Appreciate the time again, Richie, and we will speak soon. Thanks, Thanks Ben.